Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with, is that really in the Bible? Your Bible says in Romans 8 and verse 8, it says, So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Now, it's interesting, you know, as I, basically that's all I see is flesh. You know, as I interact in the world and, and go about in my business, interact with people in the world, that's all I see is flesh and blood. As you look at the man or woman in the mirror, what do you see? You see flesh and blood. And of course, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50 says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You ever ask the question, why? Why can't flesh and blood inherit the kingdom of God? Let me tell you why. Because flesh and blood cannot please God. That's the reason why. Now, obviously, we have a dilemma here. What are we going to do about this? Why would God create something that in and of itself cannot please God? The way you came into the world, you cannot. The natural way, you know, a little baby that's born into the world, you can't please God. That's what your Bible is saying. And a baby is a good example of this. You know, you look at a little child, you know, kicking and screaming until it gets what it wants. Yeah. This little ball of flesh cannot please God. Now, I want you to look at this picture here. This is a picture of a, a child, man and woman, but a child inside of, of an adult body. And that's basically the way we are. You know, uh, we're talking about adults who never grew past, who never grow past this kicking and screaming to get what he wants, okay? We just present it now differently that we're older. We... we we don't present it, you know, we present it a little bit different. You know, we use subterfuge and deception to get what we want. Uh, we lie and manipulate to get what we want. We run over other people to get what we want. We are just spoiled brats in an adult body. I mean, just look at the behavior of the typical three-year-old child, or what they call the terrible twos, okay? I will not pick up my toys. Pick up your toys. I will not pick up my toys. And you've got these passive parents. You ever seen these passive, passive parents who they beg and they plead with the child, oh, won't you please pick up your toys? Oh, please, please, please pick up your toys. And, and, and all you have it's just you have children trying to rear children. Let's go back to the picture. The picture reveals it all. You know, it, all we're talking about is children trying to rear children. The reason, you know, my, my sister one time told me, she said she, the reason they didn't have any ki uh, children is because she would kill them. Uh, I thought that was funny, but she, she was the type, you know, just, just she is the type that just wouldn't put up with a lot of this the stuff that you see in child rearing. Now, the answer is so simple, by the way. It consists of three words, whip, his, and you fill in the blank, okay? That's the answer. You know, you ever been sitting around, you know, like a, a family get together, and here's this spoiled brat, won't pick up his toy, won't do a thing, and, and, and you, know, you know what you're thinking, and you know what everybody else in the whole room is thinking. They're thinking, why don't they whip his and, 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 you know, and, and you're wondering, why, 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 do it, you know. And maybe if you had a chant going on. Maybe if everybody started chanting, whip his, you know, whip, and everybody get together. And maybe, maybe the person would get it. Maybe the person would get it. Maybe if they held up cue cards, whip his, you know, and then they would get it. Or, and maybe you're watching TV and Wheel of Fortune, the, the slogan is, uh, as they un undo the letters, the, the, the letters say, whip his, you know, and, and maybe they would get it then. I doubt it, but maybe, maybe you know, I, I don't know why parents don't get it, but they don't. 